In this presentation, I'm going to show you how we can automatically scale GPU nodes in the Kubernetes cluster based on usage. On the screen, you will see four windows. Starting from the top left, we have the nodes that are present in the cluster. Right now, we have one control plane node where all the Kubernetes components reside. We also got two generic worker nodes without GPUs that is used to host the GPU operator and the base components of the Jupyter hub. In the middle, we have the pods in the GPU operator namespace. This application is responsible for detecting when a GPU node joins, compile and install the correct GPU drivers on that node, and finally tell Kubernetes that the node has a GPU that can be used. On the bottom, we have the pods in the Jupyter namespace. Currently, only the Jupyter hub runs here, but we'll shortly see that the individual Jupyter instances will also run here. To the right, we have the login page to Jupyter Hub, which I'm going to use to be able to start instances of Jupyter that requires GPU nodes. Okay, let's start. First, we log in with the user1 and start a Jupyter instance that requires a GPU node. We can see at the bottom left that the pod Jupyter user1 is starting and enters a pending stage, since there is currently no GPU node it can schedule onto. In Jupyter Hub to the right, we can see in the event text that the autoscaler now has seen the demand of the new GPU node and is increasing the replicas from 0 to 1. Now on the top left, we can see that the new node has joined the cluster and will now start to install all the prerequisites. Now all the prerequisites has been installed and the Jupyter instance is scheduled and will start in a second. To verify that we have a GPU device, we will use PyTorch and check if it recognizes any CUDA device. And as we can see, it evaluates to true. If we now log in as a second user, it will work just the same. A new Jupyter instance will be launched. The autoscaler sees that the pod is in pending stage figure out that it needs a new GPU node, and adds the new GPU node. Here we see that the second Jupyter instance also finds the CUDA device. Now we can stop both Jupyter instances. The cluster autoscaler will eventually notice that the nodes are not needed anymore and turn them off. Here we see on the top left that one of the nodes gets drained and removed. A few moments later, the last node is drained and removed as well. And that was all I were going to show for this demo.